Hello everyone, welcome back. Got a rain day here from work today. We've been working the weekends too, so I haven't had any time yet, but I think it's time to go mud bugging 2015 here in Minnesota. First thing I have to do, I believe, my trap should be up here above the workshop. Oh, there they are. So I think I'm just going to set three because it's rainy out and I just want the three easy spots and we'll see what's out there since we haven't had anything in yet this year. Alright, so like I said, I'm only going to put me the three traps out. I'm going to go to the same place that I always start at and uh, it's we're getting a lot of rain today, a possibility up to two inches or more. So I may pull these tonight and see what we got, or I'll come back tomorrow and do it. But for right now, we'll get them in and get the bait in there, and hopefully we can catch ourselves some crayfish. Well, the first one I'm going to put in, like usual, is going to be right below this tree. Water's kind of low, but we still look like we've got a little bit of a calmness right there where the water spins, so that's what I'm going to aim for. So in two of these traps, I'm going to put frozen fish guts that I've got left over in the freezer. And one of them I'm going to use venison liver. And that's all frozen, so I mean, it'll take a while to thaw, but that should help us out. All right, so we got one more to set. Be interesting to see how we do because the water definitely hasn't had time to heat up to 70 degrees, but we've caught them at this time of the year before, so. Well, there's my favorite spot to put a trap is right where that tree kind of sticks down right there. Kind of the calm water and you've got all the moving water around it. Didn't do real good there last year, but I always have in previous times, so we'll see what happens. Okay everyone, well that's three traps set for our first time out. It's exciting. We'll be back later to check these. Okay everyone, well it's been about seven hours, which isn't that much time, but it should give us a good idea of if the crayfish are active or if they're not. Some. Yeah, we definitely got some in there. Not a whole lot of them, but they are big ones, and actually more than I thought, because usually a good rule of thumb for catching these, if I come down here 
and the mosquitoes are eating me alive is usually when they're biting real good. So we really don't have any small, not any real small ones, just some nice good sized ones. Look, look at him. Okay, so we ended up with 15 in that one there. That's not too bad for this early in the season. I mean, we've caught as many as between 70 and 80 out of this same exact spot. But for right now, first 15 of the year sounds pretty good. All right, well, two more traps to check. This spot is always hit or miss. Sometimes you do good, and sometimes you get nothing, so. Be exciting to see what we got. Nothing in that trap at all. Not as many in this one, but there's still a few and they're good size. Man, that one is really big. Look at that. <laughs> All right, well, I got six in that one. So that's a total of 21. Not real good, but hey, it's 21 more than I had before. Leave them in here overnight again. And I might pull them tomorrow, I'll have to see. Maybe I'll leave them the following night. We'll see what we have left for bait. to just boil these up instead of boiling them in and just fresh water and peeling them and freezing them so I just put in some a bag of the crawfish crab boil start type stuff and some Old Bay and some salt and some lemon juice and that'll be good enough so I boiled it for three minutes now I'm gonna let it sit here for about 15 minutes and pull them out not a whole lot of them but a nice little snack That's pretty good. <laughs> Could have used a little more salt, but that's not bad at all. Oh, hope I catch some tomorrow. Okay, everyone, well, it's the next afternoon. It's 81 degrees today. It's just beautiful. It's about, uh, just about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's time to go check those traps.
this is the one that we didn't catch anything in yesterday. Oh, -hoo, look at that. Look at the difference the day makes. Holy crap. All right, we had an even 40 in there. That's nice. Two more traps to go. And we still have half of the liver. There's still one piece in there, so I'm gonna throw this out for one more day. I was actually gonna pull these tonight because it gets real busy here on the weekends sometimes, but heck no, I'm gonna leave them in there. Look at the size of that one. Wow. Look at all those. Wow. Not bad. That's too many to count. I'm going to have to just dump them in and do the final count when I get back home. Wow. Not bad, bucket's half full. Still one more trap to go. Not too, not as many in that one, not too many at all, but we did good today. Well, that trap right there had 21 in it, so that one trap that didn't get as many as the other two had more in it, or the same amount in it, as we got in all three traps yesterday. Let's go back home and get these counted up. All right, well today's count was 147. That's not bad. And look at the size of some of those. Part of me wants to boil these up right now because some of them will die off, you know, by tomorrow afternoon, but I think I'm gonna go up and get a bag of ice, keep them in this cooler. They usually don't get too much of a mortality rate if you just do it for the one day. But um, then we can see what we get tomorrow. I might have a good amount to boil. There we go. See you guys again tomorrow. Okay everyone, well we're going out right now to check those traps. Um, I haven't even been home from work today. I didn't realize that the job would take as long as it did. It's about 6.30 at night here, so I just want to get over there and get them all pulled. So we're going to do this as quick as possible and see how many we got. There was cars parked up on the side of the road there. I bet you it was really busy here today. It's a Saturday, so hope nobody tampered with my traps.
Now how can that be? Yesterday this one was so full and today now it's got four in it. <laughs> oh. Well, it looks like that one had five in it and I thought it only had four. So let's go off to the next one. Well, there's some in that one. Let's see what we got. That's a nice big one there. Looks like only one in this one. Oh, maybe two. Oh, there's a few, but not very many. Well, that trap only had six in it, but I don't know what that second trap had in it, so let's head home and we'll count these up. Today we got a total of 54, so the first day we had 21, the second day we had 147, and today we had 50, whatever I just said. <laughs> I don't know, you'll see the final numbers at the end of the video. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching this first time out in Minnesota for Mud Bug in 2015. I'm going to boil those up tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to do a lunch boil. I wanted to do it today, but it's just getting a little bit late. We got a lot more times going out, and I'm going to try a few different places this year, so stay tuned. doesn't look delicious I don't know what does <laughs> can't wait to get out there again